Hello, this video is sponsored by Wondrium. I'm Lawrence Brown and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to ridiculously hard to pronounce place names. As a British person, I myself am no stranger to these, having grown up 40 miles from Ingemels. But for all the attention that these funny British place names seem to get among curious Americans, it's worth remembering that America has a plethora of its own. And I should know, because over the past few weeks and months, I've been testing myself with wildly varying results on the phonetically unpredictable places of each of the 50 states. And today we've arrived at Delaware although this is technically still Chicago. Delaware, while being the sixth least populated state in the Union, nonetheless yielded hundreds of suggestions from people who live there. And so my thanks to this week's Timeless Ten, who provided the place names that I'll be butchering in a few seconds' time. And if you would like a chance to make it onto this highly prestigious list, the next state in the series is Florida, so put your suggestions for the Sunshine State below. In the meantime, we're heading back north, or are we? Okay, so it seems that Texas is not the only place to have a Houston, though I suspect that that's not how you pronounce this version of the name. So we're gonna go through some obvious alternatives as to what it could be. So it's not Houston, or even probably Houston, which is apparently how British people pronounce it. I think it's going to be like Houston Street in New York, since it's up in that kind of neck of the woods, right, the East Coast. Maybe it took its influence from that rather than the place in the South, or the other way around. I don't know. Houston is what I believe this to be, so I'm going to go with that. Let's lock it in. Okay, we're looking it up. It looks like we don't have audio for it. The uh, answer here is on Wikipedia. For Houston, Delaware, it says indeed it is Houston. One point to Lawrence. Okay, Leipzig, which I've never heard of this place, but it does sound like Leipzig in Germany, which I know from football, and it is pronounced Leipzig. So would it be pronounced Leipzig? I think it probably is Leipzig. That's my first guess. That's the first thing I thought of, and so I'm going to go with that. So apparently we didn't have much to go on here except for somebody's comment on Reddit which I know is the bastion of journalism. According to this person on Reddit, it's actually pronounced Lipsick. Is that right? Is it similar to Lipstick as opposed to Leipzig? Next up is a familiar looking place name because I think we have this in the UK, but I suspect it's pronounced differently. I think this is gonna be Luez. Luez, Lewes, 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 Lewes. Ooh, that could be it, Lewes. Bit of a weird one, bit of a mouthful, unnecessarily, given the word. Hello, I'm Jimmy from Lewes, Delaware. I don't know where Jimmy came from. So yeah, we're gonna go with Lewes, Delaware. Lewis. Lewis, like the name, that's weird, because America, already has a sort of weird relationship with this word. If you think of St. Louis, often people call it St. Louis. And then Louisville is pronounced Louisville. So you're all over the shop with the name Lewis. Re 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 Rehoboth, 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 it, oh, Three vowels, one of those is the key to all of this. It's unlikely to be Rehoboth. I think that would just be weird. Oof, I don't know. It could be the middle, it's probably the middle syllable. That's how we'd say it in England, I think, Rehoboth. So I think it's Rehoboth Beach. Rehoboth Beach. I mean, what can I say? That That's as close as you can get to what I said. I think I get a point. Ah, here we go. If you've watched this series before, you'll know it's the Native American place names that trip me up. Apoquin, Apoquinamink, 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 Apoquinamink. For, I'll go with my first instinct on this. Apoquinamink River. If you just say it fast, I think that, that usually helps you through the sort of Native American sound. So, Apoquinamink. Apoquinamink. I think that's what I said, isn't it? Apoquinamink. 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 First instinct tells me to go with Hockessin here, right? So that middle syllable is the thing that you emphasize. But uh, things that look as they sound probably don't belong on this list. So that's likely not how it's said. I just can't think of any other real way to say it. Hockessin. 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 I bet that's what it is. Hockessin. Let's lock it in. That's almost a rhyme that I didn't plan. Hockessin. No. There's no way that first syllable is ho. Cape Henlopen is how I think I'd say this just based on instinct. I don't think it can be that. So what could you even do with some of those sounds? How could they be weird? How could they be different? Cape Henlopen. Henlopen. Are we emphasizing the pen? Here. 
Do you need to sign a guest book when you enter the state park? I'm just, I'm making correlations that don't exist. Cape Henlopen sounds like a French nationalist. I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Cape Henlopen. It somehow, it doesn't sound right, but I'm gonna go with it anyway, which is not a good idea. Cape Henlopen. Oh, it's the middle syllable. I think if I'm ever in doubt and there are three syllables, just go with the middle one. It seems to always be that. Newark, just like the place in England, and of course by extension, New Jersey. I don't think it's gonna be pronounced like it is in those places though. And I have heard of alternatives up on the East Coast and Delaware is probably that place where I think it's pronounced Newark. So I think it's Newark. Uh, same Reddit article from earlier on. And apparently my memory is really good having read about this a few years ago. It is indeed Newark. And while we're on the topic of Britain's influence on American English, that brings us on to this. In past videos, I introduced you to the Great Courses Plus. Well, the team behind those great courses are hard at work creating even better, broader, bigger, and more brilliant educational experiences giving you more reasons to love and pursue learning. Enter Wondrium, where you can find all of the tried and true Great Courses Plus content and more. For instance, have you ever wondered how English took on a life of its own in America? I'm thrilled to recommend Professor Natalie Schilling's English in America, A Linguistic History. This course even taught me a lot, like did you know that Noah Webster, the father of American English, wanted to replace the U in soup with a second O? Mind-blowing! Well, Wondrium is where you find Find the answer to everything you've ever wondered about and some things you never imagined you'd wonder about. Their carefully curated collection of short and long-form videos, tutorials, how-tos, travelogues, documentaries and more is academically comprehensive, thoroughly researched, relentlessly entertaining and presented by engaging experts. In a nutshell, Wondrium is the place for minds that wonder and as it happens they're giving viewers the fantastic offer of a free trial. Show your support for Lost in the Pond by subscribing to Wondrium today. Visit Wondrium.com slash lost in the pond right now to begin your free trial. The link is in my description below. Frederica, I think is how I'd normally pronounce that if it was a person's name, but I don't know how else you could pronounce it looking at this. I mean, Fred, der, Ica. And it's not three syllables, so I can't play my three syllables rule. So I'm just gonna have to wing it here, I think. I just don't see what else you can do with that first vowel sound. The second vowel sound, Frederica, 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 Frederica. I bet it's Frederica. According to Google, the only place we can really find an answer to this is on that Reddit article again and they say it's Frederica. Who saw that coming except for people in Delaware? Well here's a fun looking name and it's a name actually that's quite familiar to me because when I was in Florida as a kid we went to a beach called New Smyrna Beach and that's how we sort of said it but I can't remember if we were just making that pronunciation up or if the one in Florida is the same as Delaware there's no telling is there? But it could be that this was just suggested to me simply because it's quite an unusual looking word so I'm gonna think that it's the same way I was pronouncing Smyrna when I was a kid, and I think it is Smyrna. Okay, I couldn't find much information on this except for a forum post from 2012 where a user says that locals pronounce it as Smyrna. So if that person's correct, I get a point, but if that person's incorrect, let me know in the comments below. I must confess, Delaware being the small state that it is, probably didn't have a huge amount of place names to draw from. So we had to resort to the name of a museum in order to fill out this list. Instinctively, I'd probably go with something like Winterthur Museum. Uh, Winterthur, 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 Winterthor. I, mm, I don't know, let's go with Winterthor. Winter tour. Again, I didn't have much luck finding an answer to this, but according to someone's blog, it is Winter Tour, which was a wild stab in the dark, I have to admit. Got it right, presumably, if this person's blog is correct. There's not a lot of information on Delaware. What a weird word. Two O's followed by a C and a K, which is gonna throw anybody off. Obviously, it looks like Luckerman or Lukerman. Maybe it's Lukerman, actually. I think, because my first instinct was Luckerman, and I think it would be most people's. But maybe the presence of that C just makes those O's work in a different way. So I think it's Lukerman. Again, we had to resort to Reddit for this. And on that Reddit post, they say that it's Larkerman. 
Larkerman. La I can't do it. Larkerman. Am I doing that right? That sounds so weird. And looks weird too. How is that Larkerman? I've gone high pitch now. Thanks. Townsend, like, you know, Townsend's the YouTube channel and Pete Townsend. Suspect it's not pronounced that way because a lot of people did suggest this one. It could be a number of things. Townsend, if it was from Scotland, or Townsend doesn't work. This all feels weird. It all feels unusual. I say there's a lot of ways this could be said. I'm not sure that's true. Looking at it, there's only one way it can be said and that's Townsend. So what else do you have for me, guys? What do you have in Delaware that we don't have here in anywhere else? A vowel sound is clearly doing something that it shouldn't be here. It could be that they do something weird with the O part and say something like, Torn's end. I could almost see that being the case. Yeah, we'll go with that. Torn's end. It was the other vowel sound. So again, according to another Reddit user who is from Delaware, apparently, it is pronounced Townsend. End. Okay, well, that's it. That was my score. Let me know in the comments below how you did if you were playing along. And again, our next state will be Florida, so let me know in the comments below some of their weird and wacky place names. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I don't have to. Until the next video, goodbye.